What's going on guys? It is Jay here. Welcome back to another prop review. Now, this is actually going to be my last prop review until we move into the new house that is actually just about a couple houses down. It's going to be my last prop review until then because this is my last prop I have made in this house. This will be my last prop I will ever make in this house because next week we're going to have to be moving everything. And my school schedule is going to be kind of messed up a little. So I'm going to have like a very short week of school. So yeah, anyways, you guys already read the title. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the Cult Detective Special Gen 1 from Violent Cop. Now, I need to explain what Violent Cop is. I don't know if there's, a, I don't know if any people out there have seen the movie. It is a 1989 police slash crime drama. I actually should say police drama um, movie uh, written and directed, as far as I know, by Takashi Kitano or B. Takashi, who is um, a legendary freaking um, like like director yes this is a real life weapon but this gun was used in violent cop and was uh and um is carried by uh Kitano's character which is detective azuma it is also carried by i think it is also carried by detective kikuchi who was the rookie detective now some people may know what i'm talking about but i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there who don't know what i'm talking about so we're gonna go ahead and get right into the details of this gun because yes there are some real life facts and from the movie i just made this mainly because it was in violent cop uh, i've been watching the movie non-stop recently even though i've watched the movie like what twice multiple times actually before so yeah so uh, yeah i guess with that being said let's begin i need to show you guys what my original cult detective special revolver looked like so here it is this is the original cult detective special and this thing looks like a freaking cap gun i mean just look at it it looks like a cap gun doesn't it like, it has the freaking, like, the thinness, I guess, of a freaking cap gun. Now this is going to be used as a stunt prop, I guess. I mean, originally I was going to throw it away because it has, I don't know, these are stab marks. I do know right here, that stab mark right there, my fingers on, I did that myself to see how deep my, my knife will go in. I forgot what gen, like, what generation of the Cold Detective Special this thing was supposed to be, but... This is what it was, and it looked like a cap gun. Now, I've remade it and painted it with the old pavement paint, which makes it look more like the revolver from real life. Only thing is I don't have any brown paint, which really sucks because I, will, I really would have loved to paint this grip. So far, the only person who I actually know who has used this gun has been Detective Azuma. He's only used it once in the movie, but in, apparently in lore of the movie, apparently he's actually used it and he accidentally shot a kid with it once. In terms of like us seeing it, he was, it was only seen being used by him once, and that was when he was threatening, what was his name, um, Kiyohiro, a, a rogue Deku, he pointed the gun at him, or like, he, he was like gonna threaten him with it, and he's like, did you kill my friend, and he's like, your friend killed himself, and then, he threw the gun towards him, and he's like, if you wanna kill me, then do it yourself, he picks up the gun, and he puts in a single action. I don't know what he did, but he missed, I'm assuming he missed on purpose or something like that. These were used a lot by Decas back in like 1930s and you know, all the, I'm assuming all the way up to the 1990s. And then that's when they switched up guns. I think when they started putting in some automatic weapons and you know, in police, you know, in police departments as arsenals, I think these guns, these, these are when these types of guns fell out of favor. I think these things are like very common with detectives back in that time period or in that time frame, which is like the 1930s. The bullet that this thing fires is a 38 special, which is actually my personal favorite pistol caliber. Let's go on ahead and look at the little bitty details. Let's take a look at the grip. Why not? Why not? So the grip is brown, of course, because that's the color it's supposed to be, but it has these silver emblems. Now, originally, these were gold, but then I found out, I was confused, like, is it gold or is it silver? So, I went off on a limp and considered it silver, so I painted the little emblem here silver, which is the cult symbol. Next up you have is your cylinder, which is a lot better than not having a cylinder at all. You also have the cylinder release, which is right here. So, basically, you'd be able to just, like, just pull it out just maybe i don't know do a little bit of chamber check then just put it just you know just put it back in or whatever you have your hammer which i actually forgot to freaking paint silver which i just now realized completely forgot to paint this thing silver um i might have to paint this sometime and sometime later i'm like because i mean it's too late now all right i painted it silver literally painting it outside how about that 
you have your uh, your hammer back here, which is now painted silver. <laughs> so up here you have your little bitty front sight, which is a little bit too round. I, I should have shortened this iron sight a little bit so that way it actually looks more like an iron sight or a front sight I'm in. So the way I could actually aim with it, because there's no rear sights apparently on the Gen 1 version of a Colt Detective Special. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the shooting test. Alright, so we're going to be doing this a little different today. So, instead of going over there and doing my little, you know, shooting test and aiming it in a safe direction. Technically, I am aiming it in a safe direction because no one's over there. Now, it would be bad if I was aiming it this way because there's houses and people live over there and whatnot. Um, but, we're going to be doing a little different. So, Cold Detective Special, Gen 1. So... Go ahead. First off, we gotta. You already know what we gotta do. All right, cool. Six rounds all in there. All right. Here we go. Cold Detective Special. Gen One. Firing. All right. We're out of ammo. Now, one thing I don't know is that I don't know if, you know, speed loaders for 38 Special existed back in the day. I highly doubt it. Um, but we're just doing that, you know, just because. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go through single action. Let's do it. Here we go. Now we're out of ammo. So. Alright, so I guess that really does it for this video. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you. <laughs> <sighs> Mimi, waste all my bullets. Anyways, now that's going to end this freaking video. So with that being said, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Almost just freaking died a second ago. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.